Welcome to another edition of Northern Heat, and today our special guest is uh, Julie Pinet. And Julie, you're the director of the Schiller Chamber of Commerce, correct? Yes, I am the new director, very fresh and new. <laughs> well, very fresh and new, but I hear that you're coming up with some great ideas, and, and the, the purpose of today's uh, Northern Heat report is to talk about, with the unprecedented times that we're in now, uh, with people that are under quarantine, with social distancing, with a lot of our, uh, our uh, retail business that are closed, and some of our businesses are closed too, uh, you've come up with an idea on how we can tie this all together. So I'll leave the floor to you to talk about what you've come up with, because I think it's a novel idea and it's great. Yeah, well, it's a great idea. And actually, it, I wish it was mine, but it wasn't. It came from an entrepreneur who wants to keep it anonymous, but he came with this project and he was linked to the chamber. And when he did his pitch, it was so obvious that the chamber needed to step up in the times that we're going through. So his pitch was kind to create like a website that would regroup entrepreneurs and, and people from the community. And it was a mix between like Amazon, Kijiji, Craigslist, Facebook. So like a, a lot of resources to put in. So what we came up with is to do kind of like um, a directory of businesses so that they can tell us if they're open, if they're offering, you know, gift certificates, if they're having delivery service, and they have different services that they're usually offering just this time of, of pandemic or a crisis. So that will end up giving um, everybody in our region to, this will be a great way to be able to shop local, right? And to, exactly, yes. At the end to, of the day, that was what I heard is an excellent tool for shopping local. And I mean, it was created right now during this time, but it will stay after. And I think it, it could become an excellent tool for shop local for people coming in uh, from newcomers from people moving from people coming in for you know uh, visiting for tourists it could be an excellent tool to refer people to to see what we offer and what we have here you're absolutely right i hadn't really thought about that too is that oh, yeah. you know it can be done for the tourism and yeah. we're uh, you and i talked before we uh, we started uh, recording uh, this uh, this episode about how times are going to change and things are going to have to be done differently and and this interview that we're doing is a fine example because <laughs> normally all these Northern Heat uh, reports were done face to face and we can shake our hand at the end of it and, uh, and sit there and talk about stuff as we go through. And uh, because of, of all the social distancing, um, you know, this, uh, this platform of using this product Zoom is helping me to get out there and helping you at the same time to give these messages. So it's something that other people can use but at the same time, it's a way electronically to be able to stay connected. Exactly. And I think we've always had these tools. We just never had or been pushed to use them because we're, we're, we're human beings. We like comfort. We need routine. And now we're completely out of that. And we need to readjust the way we're doing things. And adapting to technology and regrouping is social regrouping, like virtually, is something that we need to look into. Yeah. And you're right. You know, this tool that we're using today mm -hmm has been around for a while. It's not, you know, I, I've done conferencing before on, on Zoom, never thought anything of it. And so if it's been around for a while, imagine now if everybody starts using this, there's going to be some bright people in the world that are going to come with a, a uh, another version of this that's going to be above and beyond, I am for sure. sure. <laughs> Virtual yeah. stuff, like it'll be crazy, I'm sure. So yeah. why don't you uh, show us a little bit of a demonstration of, uh, of the tool? Sure. So I'm going to bring you to the website. We're not there yet. Not here. See, I'm not that good at technology. Are <laughs> we there now? <laughs> there we go. We're seeing. There we go. Yes. See it now. So this is my zone channel. So when you get onto the website, you have the option of going French or English. So we're going to go English because our interview is in English. So this is a very interactive, we kind of like that it was linked to, you know, uh, internet, kind of virtual, but it still has a taste of the Schiller area. So if you're a business, you can click right here and register. I'll, I'll go right there after. But if you scroll down, you have the business categories. Okay. So if you want to look at them by categories or if you want to go for the full list, you can do that there. Uh, if you go a little bit more further down, then you'll get the, the people that have helped us through this project. So you'll get our sponsors. I'm going to give them some 
some little space and a great hand of applause. They, they did a great job at sponsoring us and helping us through those times. So I'm going to go back to home. And so registering your business is free. So if you have a business, if you have a micro business, a small business, medium sized business, any business, you should be on that site. It's completely so Julie, free. just so that I can, uh, you do not have to be a, uh, a member of the chamber to register. No, we thought about that, but you know what we said with everything that's going on, we want to be more inclusive. We want to be uh, more seen as a regent that as a chamber offering service to its members. We are doing more reach out to our members because it is easier for us to reach them and tell them to register. But this is open for any business that is in the Schiller area. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. So if you want to register, it's a simple um, little registration form. So you go through these and then you just fill it out. You are responsible for the content. So if you make errors, omissions, we will not correct that for you because right. we can't be responsible for the content that you're putting forward, right? Yeah. So, and there is a limit of characters. So if you're putting out some text, 250 characters with space is the maximum text that you can put in there. Perfect. So once it's you, yeah. Simple as that. Yeah. It, it should take maybe like five or 10 minutes, depending on how your, uh, your writing capacity is and what you're actually trying to focus. So we have, I think, more than 80 business registered. Good. And before the site even went live, because we had the construction page up with the business registration, we had over 2,000 people visit the site in two days which is actually very good for a website. Well, especially um, when this is something it's, uh, you've uh, managed to put this together in the last uh, uh, two weeks, two and a half weeks. We actually less. did this in three days and a half. We did It's totally sleep. amazing. Yeah, we worked over the weekend, we came together. Uh, Jonathan did, with GT Web, uh, Web Studio did an excellent job at creating this site. And then we assisted him with, you know, content ideas and direction. And this is what came out of that four days. We're still working on the site, you know, and, and doing stuff that we didn't have time to do in those four days of rushing. But we're, we're doing, you know, modifications and making sure it's working very well. All right. So I'm going to go to the businesses. So you give you a kind of a, a feel of who's on there. So this is how it displays. So if you want to see a business, if you just... Scroll over, you'll have the coordinate to reach the business. Okay. So they can tell you what they're offering right now, but we've also decided to make a separate uh, section for the business that are closed. So if you need, ah, okay. you want to advertise that your business is completely closed during this time, you can, you can also do it. I'm gonna scroll down. So this is, a, this is a pretty complete list. Like you said, there's 80 companies or 80 uh, I think yesterday we had 84 or 87. Okay. And that was yesterday. So we get new registrations every day. And we have marketing campaigns that are going out. So that when these campaigns are going out, we always see a peak in the businesses that will come and, uh, and register. All right. Yeah. So if... Uh, um, if you uh, look at this in a way, I guess that we'd like everybody to uh, promote this and to share this, uh, uh, this information, out, share this uh, uh, interview that we've got. And uh, at the same time, it'll get the word out. More companies will be able to link together. More network will be able to happen. And that'll mean more businesses. And again, more, I shouldn't say businesses, more business for the businesses in the area. Exactly. Yeah. It's kind of hard right now. Facebook has always been great for advertising and free advertising, but right now there's so many information, so much people on there. I, my feeling is that a lot is, get, is getting lost, right? So yeah. with this, we're trying to regroup and kind of like inspire your business owner, or inspire a region, or, you know, create some kind of hope that there is like a there is a future after this. There is something coming around that will be fun and that will be dynamic and we'll still be doing businesses, I hope, after, but we'll be doing it differently. So I, I'm just hoping that this website can, you know, help during this, this crisis and then become some kind of great tool we can use after. 
Great words of wisdom. I want to thank you very much for the work that you're doing to keep the businesses going in the area, to helping them promote, to be able to focus a lot on, on being able to shop local and to support each other, because that's the way that we're going to make it through this. Yes. My final words uh, would be thank you. Thank you for the business that have registered. Thank you to the people that are trying to convince some new business owners to register. And thank you to the people that are actually coming to the site and looking how they can actually help our business owners during, during this hard time. Well, that's great. And uh, again, uh, for everybody listening to, uh, to this report, please share. The more that you share, the more people are going to hear about what's going on. And at the same time, as you mentioned a while ago, it might help what the people that are looking at coming here in the future because we are going to come out of this. And when we do, we want to be able to, uh, to be in a position that we're ready for this. And I think that this is a great tool to be able to promote that. So again, Judy, thank you very much for the great work that you're doing with the uh, Chiller Chamber of Commerce and for what you're doing for the businesses. Thank you, Bob. Have a great day and stay safe. You too. Thanks. Bye-bye.